There is an outpouring of support in Corey Barron's hometown as people learn of his death. Paul Kiska went to Fremont today where fundraisers and memorials are planned. Paul continues our team coverage right now. Paul, tell us what's happening there today. Well, Lee, several people I talked with today here in Fremont on and off camera say they're putting aside speculation on what happened to Corey for now so that they can focus on helping and supporting his family. It's about showing support for a family that has done so much in this community. Um, they've given so much of their time. Close family friend Jill Ivey says the Fremont community is coming together for Corey Barron's family. She put up this sign today at Little Caesars Pizza on West State Street where she works, letting people know part of the proceeds from this coming Monday will go to support Corey's family. I couldn't help but feel terrible for the family. Another family friend tweeting today that he's donating money from Live for Corey bracelets. He hopes to have in time for a vigil tomorrow night in Corey's memory. And Corey's younger brother, Clay, took to Twitter today to thank each and every person for their help and support. All of the Barons, they're very involved with you know the football team, and they were all involved a lot with Fremont. And they just great kids. They were happy to talk to everyone, and they always were smiling. And that vigil for Corey will be held here tomorrow night at Fremont Ross High School, where he graduated from. It'll be held 8:30 tomorrow night. People are asked to wear purple and white, the school's colors. Live on five from Fremont tonight. I'm Paul Kiska.